This woman was hired to clean a house, and when she arrived her life changed in an incredible way. Being a housekeeper is more demanding than you would imagine. The tasks housekeepers have to take care of are practically endless and in most cases very tiring. However, Kara Simmons, a 36-year-old single mother from Cleveland, did everything she could to keep her housekeeping job. As a mother of three children, Kara went out of her way to provide for her family and make sure her kids have everything they need. To do so, she had to take up tiring housekeeping assignments without even taking a single day off. Kara was working so hard that all that effort began to harm her physical health. However, despite the difficulties, she never gave up on her job and one day it paid off. Kara was a hard worker and a dedicated mother. She was always determined to go a step further for her family, no matter how much it might affect her health. Sadly, she overworked herself so often that she was even hospitalized a couple of times due to exhaustion. The stress and hard work gave her stomach ulcers and a list of other health issues. However, Kara didn't let these concerns stop her from providing for her family. After all, she had three children to take care of and pay rent every month. Kara's children loved their mother and enjoyed every second they got to spend with her, even though she was often gone for work for the entire day. She worked for a housekeeping services company called Made Bright, which had plenty of assignments for Kara and her teammates. Even Kara's employer didn't hesitate to admit how impressed they're by Kara's effort and willingness to work hard and take up every assignment thrown her way. Even though housekeeping is a tough business, Kara was strong enough to go through it all. It was an ordinary day for Kara when she accepted the next housekeeping assignment. Everything seemed to be normal that day and she had no idea that the next assignment was about to change her entire life. She took the address she was assigned and prepared herself for just another cleaning project. Little did she know that the client whose home she was about to clean was a major celebrity. As she came to the address, Kara met a woman named Madeline Blue, who was in charge of showing her what needed to be done. Strangely, Madeline stated that the house had already been cleaned so Kara wondered why did they need her help if there is no cleaning to be done. Madeline invited Kara to walk in, promising to explain the nature of the work that Kara was needed for. It was this moment that determined Kara's future and she decided to step into the house even though she had no idea what was ahead of her. After Kara walked in, Madeline explained the assignment they had for her. Namely, the owners of the house hired Madeline to organize a large party at that place. The party was supposed to take place in the evening so there wasn't a lot of time left to get things done. Madeline hired Kara to assist her during the preparations and help set up everything before the party started. The project sounded fun and Kara didn't mind helping out. The first thing she had to do was meet Manny Slamovitz, a famous chef in charge of preparing a six-course meal for the event. Kara was about to participate in one of the most fun assignments she was ever given. Her first task was to taste and rate every meal that Chef Slamovitz had prepared for the party. It sounds easy, doesn't it? Even though this wasn't an ordinary task that Kara was used to, she was happy to go along and help the chef decide which dishes to serve that evening. However, it all seemed a bit odd to her, since she's never been in a similar situation at work. The chef Manny tried to break the awkward silence as Kara was trying out the meal so he asked her what her favorite food was. Kara replied with spaghetti since that was her children's favorite meal. You could tell that Kara always put her children ahead of her own happiness and needs. Not a single minute would go by that she doesn't keep them in mind, as they are the sole reason why she puts so much effort into her work. Even though she claimed spaghetti was her favorite food, the meal Kara was eating was nowhere near the ordinary pasta dish. In fact, she was tasting a uniquely South African Tristan lobster dish with quail egg and basil oil. The lobster alone is worth around $500 and Kara had a chance to taste the entire exquisite meal with side dishes as well. It was safe to say that this was the most expensive meal she had had in her entire life, or at least as far as she could remember. You'd be surprised to know that the $500 lobster is not even the most expensive meal on the dish she was given. The main dish was followed by a side serving of white truffles with edible gold worth over $4,000. Would you believe it if someone served you real gold on a plate? Well, Kara had a chance to not only see such an exquisite meal but also taste it and give it a ranking. Considering that the dessert menu alone was worth almost $5,000, Kara could guess that she was planning a very important party. After finishing the meal, Kara was shocked at the price of the whole thing and she couldn't deny that it was very delicious. 
she then returned to Madeline to check what her next assignment was. Madeline asked Kara if she could answer the door quickly. Kara followed up quickly and went straight to the entrance door. When she opened it up, she saw two men at the door had arrived for the party's reflexologist station. The two men walked in and everything seemed to be ordinary at first. However, Madeline then explained that the men needed to warm up their hands before the event so she asked Kara if they could give her a massage. This is when things started getting weird and Kara couldn't believe what was happening. However, despite all the suspicion she had in mind, she decided to go along since it was just a massage. After all, it was her job to complete all the given assignments. The two men then proceeded to give Kara a massage, which was a part of her job believe it or not. The therapist started working and Kara still couldn't believe the situation she found herself in. She even joked with the therapists that it must be her birthday so everyone is treating her so well. In reality, Kara couldn't believe how easy her tasks were. An ordinary assignment would consist of tiring tasks such as cleaning and organizing items. This time, she was sitting down and enjoying a professional massage and she was even getting paid for it. At this point, Kara believed that the unexpected massage was the highlight of her day. However, there was a lot more in store for her and she had no idea about it. After the therapists finished the massage, Madeline called Kara to come upstairs for her next assignment. Kara followed Madeline to a bedroom upstairs where Madeline opened the door of a large walk-in closet. She told Kara that she was in the middle of organizing the closet so she had to clean it out and get rid of some designer clothing. It was at this moment that Kara was surprised the most. Madeline told her that she needs to declutter the closet so Kara can take whatever she wanted and keep it for herself. Madeline gave her access to a closet filled with designer goods and clothing. Kara couldn't believe what was happening to her. She was looking at all the designer heels, jackets, and accessories and she couldn't believe that she'd get them for free. She even ended up getting a gold watch and an expensive jade necklace. After the closet shopping spree was done, it was time for Kara's next assignment, to answer the door again. At this point, she was aware that the next task could also be a very pleasant surprise and she wasn't wrong. As she opened the door, Kara saw a delivery man carrying a huge box. He left the box inside as Kara closed the door with doubt in her mind. She had no idea that she was going to find something absolutely shocking inside that box. Things got even weirder when the big delivery box was brought to the house. Kara was told to open the box and she did so quickly. She couldn't believe what was inside, her own personal belongings. At this point, Kara started to feel concerned about the whole situation. She was in an unknown person's house where she had never been before and suddenly her belongings get shipped to the house out of nowhere. Something seemed off but she couldn't figure out what. Kara could no longer hide her concerns about this situation. She looked at her personal belongings with disbelief, trying to figure out why they would be sent to this location. To her surprise, the delivery man brought an even bigger box inside the house. Kara asked the delivery man where he had come from but he refused to answer the question. This created even more confusion and Kara was starting to feel seriously concerned about her safety inside the house full of strangers who somehow have her stuff. Things started to unravel when the delivery man finally admitted why he was there. He said the items were for the woman who lives in this house, Ms. Simmons. Unfortunately, this explanation made Kara feel even more concerned since that was her last name, and it made no sense at all. That's when Madeline jumped eye and said, yes, Ms. Simmons is my boss. Kara turned to her and looked at her in disbelief, unable to say a word. It seemed too good to be true that she was somehow made the owner of the house. It's quite understandable why Kara was so confused at this point. She was hired to clean the house and now she's suddenly being treated as the owner. It was at this moment that the crew could no longer hold it in so they told her what was really going on. The crew members represented themselves as part of a web series called Prank at FWD. The popular series focused on improving people's lives while having some fun with it. However, this was not the end of Kara's surprise. The entire scenario was far from being a joke. The house was a real present for Kara and her family, which made this simple cleaning assignment a turning point in her life. Once she walked into that house thinking she was about to clean it, she never expected that by the end of the day she would become the owner of the place. Kara thanked the team with tears in her eyes for changing her life and the lives of her children. In fact, Kara wasn't the only single mom who struggled to provide for her kids. There was another similar case where a single mom's life was changed for the better. 
Another similar case we wanted to look into was that of Tana Marino in Cyprus, Texas. As a mother of four children, Tana was focused on her family and their well-being throughout her entire life. Her husband was a firefighter who was often away from home so Tana would have to take care of the kids most of the days and get her own work done. Coming from a small town, Tana claimed that her children were the most important thing in her life. Sadly, Tana couldn't spend a lot of time with her children because she was busy working long hours as an appliance technician. She worked for a popular company called Mr. Appliance where she often had to spend extra hours. Even though she had a stable job and an income, Tana often struggled with finances since she had a big family to feed. One day, she got an unexpected phone call that changed her life completely and she hasn't looked back since. When Tana picked up the phone, she had no idea what kind of a life-changing opportunity she was about to face. The voice on the other end of the call represented themselves as a television scout. At Tana's surprise, the scout asked her if she was willing to star in a reality television show pilot. Tana couldn't believe that they called her for the show. She asked for details and, after learning more about the project, she was still skeptical as to how and why they chose her for the part. The scout wasn't allowed to reveal too much information about the show over the phone. They did, however, mention that she show was called, Don't Quit Your Day Job. This wasn't nearly enough for Tana to make her decision. However, after taking a few minutes to think about it and compare the pros and cons of the opportunity, Tana decided to go along with the invitation. After all, she figured this could be a good source of money for her family, which was a big motivator for her at the time. It didn't take long for Tana to agree to do the show, even though she had absolutely no idea what was waiting for her on the set. The first day she came in for the filming, she met the camera crew in charge of following her around. Tana's task was to train a new employee named Faith Brown. She welcomed her aboard and followed the tasks as she was told. It seemed like she had absolutely no concerns about being on TV. Faith, on the other hand, seemed like an ordinary office worker, even though she was slightly overdressed for her part considering that she was wearing a lot of makeup and jewelry. Tana found it odd for such character to be put in this position on the show. Despite her wearing long acrylic nails and a look that was completely out of character, Faith was ready to take on the job. Tana played along with it and started showing her around as if she was training a new employee while the camera crew was following her every step. Tana noticed that Faith wasn't really experienced in the craft but she decided to give her best shot at training the new employee. She patiently walked Faith through the procedures and the routine she had to learn for the job. The camera crew was following the two of them throughout the entire training. At this point, Tana realized that the show was about training odd new employees who had absolutely no idea what they were doing. However, it was all a bit stranger than she had expected. The training continued for the next couple of days. Tana and Faith worked together on house calls and Tana took time to explain everything Faith had been asking. She kept her patience throughout the entire training. After a few days, you could tell that Tana and Faith got along pretty well. They even started bonding on a personal level and Tana ended up inviting Faith to her house. Faith was more than happy to meet Tana's family, especially the children who were curious to see her. That afternoon when Faith came to Tana's house, she met all four of her children and her husband Michael. They seemed like a happy family that got along well, despite the financial struggles the couple had to deal with. Faith was especially surprised at how welcoming everyone in the family was. Every member of the family warmly welcomed the guest and they all bonded together. In fact, Tana and Faith got so close that Tana ended up admitting something very personal that evening. When the kids went to sleep, Faith and Tana had a more personal conversation at the dinner table. Tana ended up admitting that the money was very tight within the family, even though both she and Michael had jobs. After all, it takes a lot to feed a family of six members. She even admitted that she might need a second job to provide more money for the family. However, that meant she would spend less time with her children, which is something that makes her heart break. Faith was exceptionally touched by Tana's confession and she had her own struggles to share as well. This whole story about financial issues brought Faith some of her earliest childhood memories. Namely, she admitted that her father was often away from home, which caused issues in their household. After listening to Faith's story, Tana felt like the two were connecting even more. However, she had no idea what was coming. Faith decided that it was finally time to reveal what the reality show was really about. After the shooting for, Don't Quit Your Day Job, was complete, Tana was given one last assignment, to visit Faith's home to complete the final segment of the show. 
she was happy to help the crew pack up and head to the new location. However, once Tana arrived at the property, she saw Faith who looked completely different. She now had short blonde hair and a completely different style. Tana found this a bit odd but she had no idea what was about to happen. Faith introduced herself with her real name, Dina Dwyer Owens. She was the CEO of the corporation that owns Mr. Appliance, the company that Tana worked for. After seeing the shock on Tana's face, Dina proceeded to explain what this whole thing was about. She explained that her goal was to spend a few days with Tana while wearing a disguise so she can learn more about her life and what it was like to work at her job. She had a great opportunity to learn firsthand what it's like to be an employee at Mr. Appliance. The television crew then jumped in to explain that there was no reality show called Don't Quit Your Day Job. Instead, they were filming for a completely different show called Undercover Boss. The aim of the show was for bosses to wear a disguise and spend time with their employees to learn more about their lives and see how they're putting effort into their work. This time, Dina had a chance to learn more about Tana's day-to-day -day life. There was no doubt that Dina was impressed by Tana's work ethic and personality. She was also deeply touched by her story about financial struggles and family issues with four children at home. Dina knew she had to help Tana somehow. For starters, the CEO decided to grant Tana $5,000 to support a program called, Women in the Trades. This program was designed to assist women who were learning a trade and the financial aid will help them make progress in the future. Tana was so moved by Dina's kind words and generosity that she couldn't keep her tears back. Dina then set up a $10,000 scholarship fund so Tana and her husband could start saving money for their children's education. Tana couldn't believe that all of this was happening to her on such an ordinary day. Little did she know that the biggest surprise hasn't even been revealed yet. The $10,000 scholarship fund was only the beginning of Dina's generosity. The CEO of the company decided to make one last move before ending the show. She gave Tana a check for $25,000, which she could use any way she wanted. Dina explained that this was a personal gift from her, given that she was so moved by Tana's story and her work ethic. At this point, Tana was so shocked that she almost fainted out of surprise. She couldn't find words to thank Dina for her generosity. Dina had no idea how much this money meant to Tana's family during such a difficult time. Even Dina had no idea that she would be giving away so much money at the end of the show. She took part in Undercover Boss to learn more about her employees and to get an insight into who is working for her company. She was only supposed to go through it as a regular employee. However, after meeting Tana, Dina knew she had to reward her hard work and effort, especially after learning more about her life. Tana had shown every single quality Dina was looking for and she deserved a reward for that. There is no doubt that this episode of Undercover Boss was a very unique experience for both women who took part in the show. Dina got a chance to learn more about what's it like to be on the other side of the corporation. Tana, on the other hand, received a gift that would absolutely change her life. That kind of financial help was exactly what her family needed during these times of struggle. The Undercover Boss show was definitely a valuable experience for both of them.